Hello there, in this video I am going to show you the basics of spreadsheets. Now I'm using Google Sheets for this, so let's have a bit of a look around. Now each of these boxes are called cells, so for example this is A1, This that's the B column, this is B3, and this is G15, so they're called cells. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a spreadsheet for a pretend business called Charlie's Chook Farm. So first things first, we need to put in some data. Okay, so let's make a start on that. Now when you put in your numbers, you don't need to put in the same numbers as me, just put something similar. Excellent. Right, so now we've got some data. Now let's just tidy this up. Let's um, bold these headings and the days of the week by going Command B or Control B if you're using a PC, but Command B. Uh, and down the bottom we're going to add a total row so that we can add up the week totals and we're going to add a total column as well so that we can add up the egg production for each day of the week as well. We'll bold those as well. Now let's put in a little bit of a line here just to tidy it up a bit, make it look a bit more snazzy. Okay, so first thing we do to start a total, we want to put an equal sign. That's how we start any formula in a spreadsheet. We hit the equal sign. That's your equal sign. Now we can click on the cell and go plus and then go B4, click on that cell, plus B5 and so on, right down till we get to the bottom. We hit enter, that is our total. That's a lot of eggs. But there's an easier way, so let's delete that and let's go again. So equals, and instead we're going to use a function called sum and put an open bracket, so sum, and then we just highlight these cells. So it shows B3 to B9, or B3 colon B9, um, and then we close bracket, and that's an easier way to get the same result. Now I could just go back and type that again, sum, da da da, and just keep typing that, um, but there's actually an even quicker way to do it. So if I grab the little thing there, Let's take a closer look at that and drag that across to the other side. You'll notice that what it does is it copies the formula across. So it's C3 to C9 and this one's D3 to D9. So it copies and changes the formula to suit. You can do the same thing down this side as well. So, so we click on the equal sign, we type in sum, open the brackets and highlight that section. And there's our total. Or we can get rid of that altogether and instead we can click up here on a little thing called the functions button and in there you'll see some options. So let's choose sum. We'll select that and you'll see the formulas there. We just need to select the range so B3 to E3. I'll show you that again. So sum and then select the section we want to add up. And then we can drag that down with our little box thing. And there's our answers. So let's bold these up, make them look a little bit snazzier. And there we go, too easy. I hope you found that useful, so thanks for watching.